you know today, I just woke up and I like said, this. No, instead of waiting on a good day, waiting around through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen, I just said, all right, and we are live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Robert Barber with Pinellas Live, and we're here today back at the Del Mar. So go back and check our earlier episodes about the Del Mar. But we're here today to check out a new piece of art that has shown up on the scene, and we're going to sit down with the artist for the next 7 to 10 minutes to celebrate a little bit of what, is, what art is happening here in Pinellas County, but also a little bit about, learn about Amanda, and then also just kind of celebrate the exceptional life that it is in Pinellas, because we're a 7 to 10 minute daily web show, sponsored by the Muller and Barber real estate team, and thanks for being here, Amanda. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. Thank you. So I got to tell you guys how I saw this was I saw through the Del Mar um, Facebook page that this art was taking place here. And I said to myself, I want to meet the person who's doing that because it's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy the next seven to 10 minutes. So let's meet Amanda. So tell us I'm your story. <laughs> so tell us your story, Amanda. So um, tell us a little bit about you. In general, like yeah, what I'm doing now? Sure. Okay. Um, well, I'm an artist in St. Pete, right. and I, uh, I do a lot of murals and logos for, you know, businesses around town and whatnot. And um, other than that, I mean, I serve on the Grand Central District Board, um, but that's what I do. I mean, I do it day and night from the second I wake up to the second I go to bed, so, and it's unexpectedly taken off for me, so I'm very thankful. Well, tell us a little bit how you got involved in it, because you haven't always been an artist. Right. I, um, I, it, well, I kind of was an artist, but I would start things on like small canvases and mm -hmm. things like that, but I would never finish them. I was a very, um, heavy drinker for about 10 years and I quit drinking two years ago and, um, I also quit smoking about a year ago and when I quit drinking almost immediately, I went back to, I went to my apartment and I went, um, there was a huge wall in my bedroom mm -hmm. and I painted a large front facing view of an abstract elephant head on okay. the wall. All yeah. right. And then so and I was like, whoa, this is awesome. And I actually finished it. It was the first thing I've ever finished right. art wise. And so um a couple months later I got a job at um a little boutique shop on Central Avenue and I did a few small, very small murals there oh. and um people would come in and see it and from there I just started getting commission and my boss would help me get jobs doing it and everything. So my first big one was Brocomp Market that I got from doing those. Right. So what do you join? What, what, how does the process work? I mean, is it just, you just look at a, a wall or a, a space and then just it comes to you or? Sometimes, sometimes I can just go up to a wall and I can do it. Kind of like the elephant thing. Mm -hmm. I just kind of did it. But um, in instances like this with Hans, um, it was, I had to sit down with him. I had to get his vision. I had to, it's almost like morphing into the person who's asking me to do it because I have to envision what they're envisioning and it has to come together somehow because the picture that he sees in his head opposed to the picture that I see in my head are two totally different right, things. Right. So it takes a few meetings for us to come together and what will happen is I'll sketch something out, I'll mm -hmm. present it to him. If he likes it, we'll go from there. If not, I'll tweak it a little bit. Um, turns out he really liked the sketch that I came up with the first time. it easy. Time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and then uh, from there, I just kind of, I, I'm pretty good at being able to take something from paper and put it onto a wall. Okay. And um, <clears throat> doing these big scale things is so easy for me. It's like the small, intricate, mm -hmm. detailed things that are hard. But when I'm doing something this level, it's, it's so easy just to like get big, right. you know? Um, so it's, it's, most of it just kind of came out of my head. I mean, there was a sketch, but we didn't go too much with the sketch. Gotcha. So it, this one was a lot of fun because I was able to just kind of do whatever I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And Hans was okay with it. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So taking you back just a little bit, cause one of the things that interests me too is specifically in your story was because it interests me because I, I love people that are willing to take a risk for things that they're passionate about or, or where they want to go. And, and tell a little bit about taking the risk to jump into this. I mean, has it hasn't felt risky or you're just said, I'm just going to do this and this is where I'm going to go. Sometimes it's been risky. Like I've, I've, I have always had a job, mm -hmm. a, you know, like right. a nine to five or right. go to a job type of thing. Sure. And so for a long time I was trying to hold on to a job 
when this was keeping me busier than a job. Right. But I still had that the mindset that I part, need to have right? a job. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but this started happening just organically for me. It wasn't, I didn't try um, to do it, but I enjoyed it. And I love, yeah, it just happened organically. And well, so tell us a little bit about, because our show really is celebrating, you know, what's what's so great about it. Yes, um, like I told you, um, you know, California, Virginia, things like that. Elementary school in Japan, in Okinawa, or my dad's parents yep. lived. They live in Dunedin, but we moved to Largo, and, um, and then... <laughs> It was more, I partied my way. Working here in St. Pete, I, I had not cool, you know? <laughs> right. So, um, I came down here to party a few times, and then I'm like, I love this place. So yeah. I got a job here, and that's when I started working at Grazi, um, you know, when Sundial was Baywalk. Right. And, um, and, uh, and I fell in love with it, and I just, I moved here. So I've been here for nine years in St. Pete, and um, just the growth that's happened here is, crazy it's just exponential and it just continues to happen and I have to say that if I were anywhere else I mean aside from like bigger art places in the country or in the world that I probably hard to be. I wouldn't have done so well yeah. you know yeah. so I have to say thank you thank a lot for being able to do this that's awesome my job that's very cool well, we're just about at our seven minutes. We're just over our seven minutes, but uh, I'm going to take a few. <laughs> I know was, it always goes faster. Yeah. Um, I just want to take a few minutes. I always like to end our show with um, pulling out a little bit of wisdom from our guests. So, you know, heard a little bit about your story. We heard about art. We heard about Pinellas and how great it is. But, you know, what, what wisdom does Amanda have maybe over the last year or maybe even today that you have that you may want to share with anybody who's watching this today or 20 years from now? Yeah, um, my wisdom would be um, there. Everyone thinks that there's scarcity that they have to compete for a job or for work or things like that. But there, it's all in your head, and there's no scarcity. And community is so important. So to work together and um, bring about community, no matter if it's with your friends or with work or your neighborhood or businesses that you work together right. with, it's just so important, and it will help you in so many ways. There's relationships from that I have from 10 years ago, Hans is one, that mm -hmm. you know we just kept a good relationship yep. and that matters so much to keep a positive, good relationship with anyone you meet because you never know when it can serve you later. You don't know, you don't know. And that's been a lot of our guests that they've said is that St. Pete and Pinellas in general just has this great community of people that really want to lift each other up. Yeah, exactly. And so that makes a great environment to live in grow and have family but that is our time today Amanda thank you so much I thank know you're you. kind of nervous about thank doing you. it but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that's our time today seven to ten minutes we're going to link up everything in the comments about Amanda's website and about some of the art that she has and that she's done so I'd love you guys to take a look at it and listen guys listen to what she has to say if you're if you're on the edge about taking a certain risk in your life you know sometimes the most dangerous thing to do is do the safe thing and uh, sometimes you can really change your life just by taking a little bit of risk and just like Amanda did, so I'm glad we got to tell your story a little bit today. Thank you, I'm so, glad I got to Cool. Start. We always like to end our show by telling you that we love you and check out uh, our more episodes. But again, sponsored by the Muller and Barber Real Estate Team, and we love you guys and have an amazing, amazing Tuesday. That's it. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Pinellas Live presented by the Muller and Barber Real Estate Team. If you'd like to get notifications when our newest videos show up, hit our subscribe button over here. Also, we're going to throw up a few other videos that you may like, and they're going to show up over here, so take a look at those. But most of all, hit us up in the comments. Love to know what you think. Take care, everybody.